Um, yeah, I'm the chair of OSGO UK. It's my very great pleasure to welcome you to this event. Um, particularly those people who are who are not not from the UK. It's it's really really great to have everyone here. Um, so Phosphogy Online 2020 um, is is being run by the UK chapter of the Global Open Source Geospatial Foundation, um, and it's my very great pleasure to introduce the current president of OSGO, Angelos Tsotsos, to say a few words about what the foundation is and what it's for, um, for those of you that are kind of not not really all that familiar with it. And then I'll come back and say a little bit more about the UK chapter. So I'm going to stop presenting at this point and hand over to Angelos. So Thank you, thank you, Joe, for, for the introduction. Welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome to Phosphor UK. And uh, I would like to thank the organizers for, for making this happen. Uh, I, I, will, I will first introduce a bit about the OSGO Foundation and, and then have a little uh, overview of, of what is happening currently. Uh, so, the Open Source Geospatial Foundation has been founded in 2006, and our mission is to empower everyone with, with open source geospatial. And uh, OSGO, for those who don't know about it, is a non-for-profit software foundation, and our mission is to provide uh, financial, organizational, and legal support to projects, uh, not only the founding, pro the founding projects of our organization, but uh, all the projects that uh, are will willing to join us. Uh, we also do outreach and advocacy, uh, promoting global adoption of open source geospatial technology. And we are trying to get partners and more people involved in, in open standards and data and education along with open source software. Uh, the main thing is that OSGO is driven by volunteers, so we need everyone to get involved. We need everybody to, to stay on board and help us with uh, our goals. And uh, in, in this journey, uh, we are working with our partners and our main domain is open source, obviously, but we get very much involved in open data, open standards, open education and open science because we, we believe in openness all around. Uh, I would like to thank our sponsors because our sponsors are, are, very, uh, are playing a key role to keeping us uh, going. And uh, if, if you can join, please sponsor our, our events, sport, sponsor our cold sprints, sponsor OSGO or one of the projects and get included in the list of sponsors. So back to volunteer, uh, volunteering, uh, we are basically a large organization worldwide. Uh, I checked yesterday, we, uh, we have 30, more than 35,000 of unique subscribers in our mailing list. Uh, anybody can self-declare uh, himself or herself as, as, uh, as a member. You just need to go on the wiki and subscribe. And then we have charter members that get elected yearly, and we have the board of directors that uh, are running uh, the organization with a two-year term. So this is how membership works in OSGO, and uh, everybody is welcome to, to join. Uh, but I would like to focus on, on, on how we actually operate. We operate through the OSGO committees. We have a long list of committees, people who are actually doing the work, and I want to thank the, the committees, the chairs of the committees, and everybody involved. They, they keep the organization and they do most of the work that is happening worldwide. And then we have the projects because we are a software foundation and, and the projects are our, our backbone. The organization works because we, we have the projects. And while we have the incubated projects, uh, the, the graduate projects, sorry, we also have the community projects that are, are really uh, join. We have many projects joining the organization lately with, with community project uh, initiative. So how can somebody who is new to OSGO, how can somebody contribute 
So basically, you can join and contribute to one of our projects, either by writing code or becoming a sponsor or write documentation, doing some translations or presentations. Any way somebody can, can help, uh, he, uh, we, are, we, we are welcoming you new contributors uh, uh, from everywhere. Uh, somebody can join a committee, obviously, or we have many initiatives that somebody can, can, can join and help, or organize events like this one. And I would like to thank again the organizers for, for doing an amazing job and, and bringing here all these people uh, even though we are not on the same room as usual, and, uh, and, and, and we are, we, we have the phosphor G spirit with us. So there are many ways that somebody can contribute to, to our organization, and it's crucial around this time of, of great, uh, of, of, of a difficult time we have to build local chapters and enable local, local chapters like the, the OSGO UK local chapter that is uh, hosting us today. Uh, we, we need to, to focus on our local com communities and then bring people to the, to, the, to the international community as well. So uh, we live in difficult times, obviously we have uh, this pandemic that is not only a major threat to, to our health, but also to our uh, economic, uh, to, to our, to the economic, uh, it's an economic threat to organizations as OSGEO and individuals, people get, are losing their jobs and it's, it's a really tough, tough uh, uh, situation all, all around the world. And uh, for, for us, the OSGEO developers and, uh, and, uh, members, it, it has been a difficult time to adapt to the new way of working online. And uh, so we need to, to adapt. So what happens in OSGEO now that we are in this crisis? We have events and conferences around the world being canceled. I would like to send my, my thank you to the uh, Calgary team that unfortunately we couldn't make this, uh, the International Force for Z this year, and they have our total support for what they wanted to do, but unfortunately they could not do it. Uh, we have regional Force for G conferences that have been uh, canceled. Also the cold sprints have been canceled all around the, the world. But now we have opportunities like this one to meet online and and, 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 and be with our friends and family because OSGEO is a big family and Phosphor G is a big family. And we will try to look forward to 2021. Hopefully we can meet again then. Uh, and a few words about how we, uh, how we operate in this time of crisis. The, the board is trying to meet more often and, and help the community in any way that is possible. We are trying to learn from from what have hap, from what has happened, so that we can we can uh, prevent future forces from having similar difficulties. And we need to enable local chapters and EU collaboration. So, in terms of operations, we the board is reviewing the budget, so we can stay healthy and we can keep. Uh, working as a community and as a community. Uh, we took a decision recently to help the, the Calgary uh, organizing committee with the financial losses that occurred uh, from the Calgary. And the rest is operations as usual over the internet. So we are going to have an election as, as, as usual. And we are starting to think about how to do this year's AGM the annual uh, general meeting with our members. And I think uh, it's going to be virtual like this event over here. So we have to think also the opportunities of a crisis and uh, free and open source software is, uh, is uh, we, we thrive in difficult times. It's, we are used to difficult times. We have, we, our history is uh, all about difficult times. And now more than, uh, than ever, 
we see maps everywhere. Everybody wants to visualize the, the, the COVID situation and produce dashboards uh, to, to, to show the, how, how this evolves. And, and, and I'm very happy to see many and many uh, of, of our soft, lots of our software getting deployed and widely used uh, to produce the maps and the data and share the data around the globe. Uh, we have been uh, we, ha we have seen amazing uh, amazing um, deployments of our of our software, and uh, it's it's also a time to realize how important the open data policies are around the world. And also, I'm very happy to see our members getting really uh, really active in, in in global events like the recent OGC Code Sprints. And thank you for, for, for being amazing. I will just tell you about what my personal now, my, my personal experience during this, this crisis. It has been, and, I, and I'm sure many of you have stories to share from your local environment, so how things are happening locally. But here in Greece, we, it, it has been amazing in, uh, on, on how things happened. Uh, we, we, we had the Greek government reaching out to the Greek uh, host community uh, one day after the lockdown. So they reached out and asked for help. 48 hours later, we had many free and open source applications being deployed just in, 20, just in 48 hours. Two days were enough to get things started. And in the last three months, uh, the, the government side, the, 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 the digital transformation side of freeze.gov.gr developed hundreds of false applications in order to help the public sector to keep, to keep functioning and, and, and being able to communicate with, with, the, with the public. Uh, and also the civil protection agency is using our stack to visualize maps, uh, and, and, and locate the, the COVID cases within the country, which is really amazing to see. And uh, just a, a statistic, like we have Postgres that leads the way in, in Greece right now in, in deploying applications uh, for, for the government. And also people just realize we have open source solutions also for, for doing uh, meetings online and GT has been used very, very actively uh, in this situation here. So, uh, back to the organizers. Now it's time for FOS4G and uh, we, we need to hear from our FOS4G heroes. So thank you again to the organizers. Thank you to the OSGO community and the FOS4G community and uh, welcome to FOS4G UK. Back to you, Joe. Indeed, indeed. Um, well, thank you very much for that, Angelos. So, um, yeah, so, so bringing, bringing things back to the UK. So um, when I started thinking about these slides, I, I remember that it was actually at Phosphor G in 2006 that uh, somebody first suggested that we maybe created a, a local chapter for, um, for the UK. Um, and so we started thinking about it and we had our first ever meetup at uh, the very glamorous location of a conference room in Stansted Airport in uh, 2008. And there, the picture that I'm showing is the, uh, is the, initial, the initial people that were, that were involved in that. So at the time, um, kind of alongside the main alongside a, a desire to support the aims of OSGO globally, um, we specifically wanted to, to have some kind of some aims of our own. And at the time, um, open source software wasn't particularly well used in the UK, and, 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 um, but a, a major issue was actually access to open sources of geospatial data. So, um, Ordnance Survey open data wasn't yet a thing. Um, 
OpenStreetMap was extremely basic and open source wasn't used. And um, I had a little bit of a nostalgia trip the other day going back to the Free Hour Data campaign, which was started by The Guardian back in 2006, um, which was around basically open, which was pivotal in, in getting people's interest and um, in, in open data and, and, um, and, and make, making it a thing that people actually talked about. And I was, I was also amused to, uh, to also see that there was a big thing about public geodata and about rejecting the INSPIRE um, directive. So, uh, so that, was, that was quite fun. Um, so also thinking about the software. So again, I had a bit of a nostalgia trip. I was actually, I was at Phosphor-G in 2006 and I, I went back and had a little look at the program. And um, so QGIS was, uh, was at version 0.8. PostGIS was at version 1.2. Um, and the most widely used piece of, of software was, was GraphGIS, which was so popular at the time that it had several conference streams all to itself. Um, so things have progressed somewhat in, in, in that time. Um, so, you know, we all know about the software, but perhaps we, some people don't know quite as much about what OSGO UK does now. Um, so we're now, an, a, a, we're, we, we now, we don't really have a need to obviously to, um, to, to kind of promote open data because that's that's now a thing um, but so what we've what we've kind of moved now more towards is actually organizing events um, so previously previous phosphor UKs have obviously been um, real live events um, last year we were in Edinburgh and uh, but obviously now online and we use the the small amount of funds that we make from running these events to financially support um, geospatial development, open source geospatial. So we support people, uh, we've supported a lot of projects over the years. We're currently supporting um, development into PostGIS. We've, we've sponsored a number of QGIS and GeoServer plugins recently. Um, I'm not going to go through them all because it's, uh, it's, it's all on our, on our website. Um, and I think what we're aiming to, to be really is a community for UK-based users and developers. And the great news is, is that with all of the people that we've got at this event who are, who are kind of not from the UK, you're all part of our community now, which is just fantastic. It's, it's really great. So um, before I hand you over to the people that you're really here to see, I've got a, a, some thanks and some housekeeping stuff. Um, obviously, I don't have to warn you all about fire alarms. Um, you're on, you're on your own. If you've got a fire alarm, you know, I can't direct you to the, the, the appropriate exit. You'll have to sort yourself out. Um, but first, we'll start with the thanks. So in no particular order, I'd like to thank everybody who's attending the event. I want to thank everyone who's made a donation to the event. My lovely fellow committee members who've all done far much more than I have in, in organising this. I'm, I might have suggested the idea originally but they've done most of the legwork in the organization and I'd also like to thank our volunteer hosts and co-hosts who are helping us with the, uh, the, the, the keeping everything running smoothly. So housekeeping, we do have a code of conduct um, to, which now specifically covers online events so if you do have any issues or concerns throughout the day then the committee are here to help and you can contact us at our email address which is listed there um, or you can contact us via Twitter or WhatsApp if you've got our WhatsApp details um, you know but do do get in touch with us. Uh, recording, we are recording all of the talks and we will get them up on YouTube as soon as we possibly can. Thanks in advance to um, to the people that have volunteered to, to help with the processing and, and doing that. Twitter, we've got two hashtags for the event. The general one is Phosphagy UK Online. Um, I do feel 
unfortunately like I have to ask everyone to be nice and to remember that there's a person at the end of every tweet or mention um, I'm not particularly I'm not trying to patronize anybody but it, it's all quite fraught at the moment isn't it so just you know just remember that there is a person at the end of, of every tweet um, if you've got technical issues then you could try the phosphagy UK help hashtag we are monitoring both the hashtags and so we'll you know if you do need any tech support we will try to help um, and remember this is the first time that any of us have organized anything like this we hope we've covered most of the bases but if something doesn't quite go according to plan we will do our best to sort it out Final thing, if you want to show your, organize, your, your, your appreciation for the effort that everyone is, has gone to, um, then we, we would appreciate it if you could make a donation. Now, um, we list a couple of options on our website, but quite frankly, if you want to donate to any charity, do so, and any amount, do so, um, you know, possibly particularly charities related to helping people during the, the current coronavirus crisis. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, on behalf of the OSGO committee, thanks for coming along to our event. We hope that you find something worthwhile. There are three streams, so you ought to find something worth, worth watching. And now let's get on with the talks. <laughs>